It's Minnesota Big Cat. This is round two. We're going to show you Animal Kingdom, which was a major stop for us yesterday. And got some short clips to give you an idea what it's all about. There's even a little Mickey Mouse in the picture behind me. Booyah!
You're kind of like us, taking our vitamins. Oh, man. I wonder if I might have walked. If this is part of the herd, it'll be made up of 90 to 95 percent female, maturing to a weight of 8 to 9,000 pounds. And if we can find the matriarch, she'll top around 11,000 pounds, being the largest, most dominant female in the herd. And she needs all that weight to keep them pesky males out of here. Oh, I'm just looking through the park. Let's see. There's a baby elephant on the left-hand side with mom. You see her there? She's about three and a half years old. She was born a bouncing baby elephant of around 350 pounds after mom carried her for almost 20, well, tw yeah, about 22 months. The wild beast on our right. You can get a better look there at the wildebeest. Also, these huge baobab trees. There's one on the left here. Legend has it the oldest baobab on the continent's about 6,000 years. It holds enough water in its hollow trunk to fill an Olympic sized swimming pool. So much so, when this pond here on the left has historically gone dry, you can see where the elephant have gouged and torn at the bark of the tree of life in order to get at the water inside. Greater flip. Oh, there's the matriarch. Look how huge she is out there on the left hand side. And Greater Flamingo here on our left. I think the Greater Flamingo and the Wild Beast up there on the right. Greater Flamingo is one of the more beautiful birds. Oh, another Hartman Zebra out there on the right. That pink color comes from a substance called beta keratin, which makes up the shells. Other sole source of food, brine shrimp. And you see some of them are standing on one leg. They're not exercising. That's called nesting. And when they fold their necks up, they're actually sleeping on one leg. As we turn to the right, just look over the rise very quickly at the matriarch again. There's a warden station on our left-hand side. You can see where the warden and rangers have been out confiscating poached items, putting those poachers in jail forever never to kill another beautiful animal ever again like the bongo rhino elephant antelope and even the large cats as we turn to the right help me look to the left into the darkness of the shadows this is an area that's sometimes frequented by a very large predatorial cat. There's one sleeping. Look to the left, into the sunlight. One lying down. Cheetah. Fastest animal in the world. Hard to spot because of their spots. And they're usually hiding in ambush, waiting for prey to present itself. There's another one here on the left, hiding in the shadows. Because this animal when prey presents itself, it can suddenly accelerate from zero to 70 or so miles an hour in about three seconds. And being one of the large predatorial cats, it's the most unique. It's the only one that still roars. No, it still purrs. It doesn't roar. Kopi outcropping. Left hand side, tallest, largest natural structure here in the reserve there he is sleeping as usual the male african lion the lion the african lion's a predator is a nocturnal predator so the male's up all night protecting the cubs from predators in the territory left hand right hand side as we turn left about the buck and white historically called rhino in the background but let's look to the left again see if we can find the females they're the hunters they must still be sleeping somewhere in the rocks The Montebac we saw back there, a beautiful animal, 
was declared extinct in the year 2000. But several years later, survivors of the slaughter were found. And I think we have at least two Montebac once again to enjoy. They're lying down on the right hand side, another one here. And then you've got the white rhino, historically called, but the Africans call this 5,000 pound animal Vright, with a V. And Vright translates into widely ever seen, because this animal will stay in the desert for up to nine months without a drop of water. This is the scimitar horned oryx. Horn shaped like a scimitar sword, a white body to reflect the heat from the sun, and just above the hoofs are white stockings. Hey, Minnesota big cat here, about ready to climb Mount Everest for the 20th time. 